Science is being transformed and we're in the midst of a revolution. And it's a revolution caused by the fact that we're getting a huge deluge of data from all sorts of things, from satellite surveys, sensor networks, supercomputers, the Large Hadron Collider uh, switched on last year and probably will switch on again uh, this summer, we hope, all right? We'll deliver petabytes. On the right, you see an image from the Worldwide Telescope. It's the Pleiades superposed with the moon. And um, all these things, visualization tools, data management tools, data mining tools, data cleansing tools, are becoming really important for scientists to do their work. And what we need to do with this huge amount of data that's coming in is go from data to information to knowledge. And so semantic, semantic computing is going to be an important enabler. And Computing is going to be underpinning almost everything we do in healthcare, energy, and educational and, and social progress. And what we're really focused on are partnerships between academia, but also with industry like ourselves and other partners, like we have a partnership with Intel on multi-core computing, and with governments and research funding agencies around the world uh, in the fields of computer science education and the scientific disciplines. So, Interoperability, choice, openness are clearly key elements to engage with the research community and what we hope we can do is embody that in what we do. What we're trying to do is, is help scientists spend more time on their research than on the IT issues. And with the data volumes that are coming in now, uh, scientists do require more of, of data management and support for their data analysis. So. We believe we can provide that, and I'll give you a couple of examples. So what we have uh, to announce today is two releases. One is of Project Trident, which is a scientific workflow workbench. And the other is Dryad and Dryad Link, which is a tool for distributing data and computation to systems of a 1,000, clusters of a 1,000 computers, and doing it in a higher level, much easier to configure and, and run your jobs. The scientific workflow workbench was, in fact, the sort of example that Bill talked about in 2005. And the idea is to make it easier for scientists to ingest and make sense of their data uh, and to, to enable them to ask questions of their data in a way that would have previously taken them a lot of effort and time to organize and put together. It's a visually programming the workflows. You can annotate. You can pass them around. You can create libraries. It has provenance capture supported automatically. It can automatically schedule them on high-performance compute clusters. It can store the data locally or up in the cloud, uh, and it's fault tolerance. So this is, we believe, a tool that scientists will find extremely helpful. It's built on Windows Workflow and can link to SQL Server, Windows HP, uh, HPC, or data storage and computation in the cloud. The last example is, is Dryad Link and uh, a Dryad on high performance com compute clusters for academic research. So if you have a job which has lots of data, which is many uh, copies of the same program but with different data, what Dryad enables you to do is to distribute that easily and, and gives you a higher level layer at which to do the programming. It implements that on, on, on Windows clusters. We hope at some point to move to Azure. But at the moment, what we're releasing is a, is a Windows cluster solution. And there's installation guide, programming examples, uh, an installer, uh, management tools, and so on. So we think this is exciting. And we hope that you will find this useful for supporting your research. Collaboration and community is really what it's about.